What if I say that a recent report claims that social media can affect your happiness? Would you believe? Well, you hear more of this on our Tech Tips segment. Our mobile app of the week is an app that makes it easy to read books on mobile phones. And finally, there is a cool gift for you in our giveaway segment. This is Tech Trends, and I am Chukwemeka Agbata. <laughs> A team of engineering students and graduates from the University of Lagos are at the lead in pushing the country to create electric-powered vehicles and help reduce carbon footprint in the atmosphere from fuel-powered cars. The project, which started in 2014, has made progress, and in August this year, the electric car named Dove, designed for zero emission, was unveiled at the University of Lagos. Engineering graduate Ulukoya Olusonya and Maduka Smart initiated the project but later included other mechanical engineering students to help build the automobile. Built with locally sourced materials, the 200 kilogram vehicle is powered by a high voltage battery with no carbon emission. Cars are going electric. Analysts say that in the next 15 years, more than half of all cars sold around the world will be either partially electric or fully electric. So I felt if I was going to do anything, car, it has to be an electric car. That was just it. I have to follow the paradigm shift. The electric motor, which is 2.2 kilowatts, has a tubular space frame chassis made from steel, a single speed transmission, double wishbone control arm front suspension with a multi-link rear suspension. Made of fiberglass body, the electric car moves at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour and can even go up to 35 kilometers per hour. It's the future of vehicles in general, not just Nigeria, but all over the world. And I believe that with time, as technology comes, expand, technology of electric cars, of course, it's still a developing field and some things are still being put in place, especially with battery technology and um, increasing the range of electric vehicles. But I believe that with time, it's going to expand to Nigeria and um, acceptance and coverage will be increased in Nigeria in the near future. While the electric car faces challenges in a country faced with chronic power shortages, many businesses are often forced to run on generators. Using an electric car, you need power. And that's one of the things this association in this country is trying to solve. And part of the things I've learned in class is there's a game changer coming to this country, which is battery able to store power for a longer time. So having this in our country, and this battery can be used for big things too, like your factories and so So having this in Nigeria, this will give us enablement to charge because that's the main issues, that's the main problem of an electric car. And solving the power issues of this country, which I believe is going to be done soon, electric cars will be well, highly welcome. Consumers have largely shunned electric vehicles in parts of the world because of their high price tags and limited driving range, as well as the scarcity of charging stations. The students say they will push for development of the technology further because, if adopted, it can help the country depend less on natural resources like fuel. Humanoid robots that can gauge your mood were among the highlights of the World Robot Exhibition in Beijing. The exhibition is a part of the three-day World Robots Conference, which also includes a forum and a robots contest for elementary school and junior high school teams. It is the first time China will host such an event. Over 100 experts 12 international organizations and more than 120 companies in the field gathered at the conference. The robots displayed are divided into industrial, service and specialized categories. Humanoid robot Chalu, made by domestic company Tami Intelligence, is famous for interacting with people. Many robotics companies are seeking ways to reduce human labor. Android Geminoid F, the lifelike female created by Hiroshi Inshigura Laboratory at Osaka University, stole the spotlight at the exhibition, with visitors crowding round to take photographs and talk to her. The creators of the robot say it's still work in progress despite the physical features and capabilities.
final goal is creating some AI system, artificial intelligence, by using this robot. But still, it's difficult. For example, voice recognition system it doesn't work. You know, especially in this kind of noisy environment. So that's why, practically, this robot is useful for the teleoperated media. But in the future, of course, we're going to create some perfect AI system by using this robot. To know the humans, to create the humans. Right. The both. The exhibitions also show trends for future technology development. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos' space transportation company, Blue Origin, successfully landed a suborbital rocket back at its launch site, a key step in its drive to make reusable rockets. The rocket reached an altitude of 62 miles, that's about 100 kilometers, breaching the boundary between Earth's atmosphere and space, and landed back at the launch site eight minutes later. In suborbital spaceflight, rockets are not traveling fast enough to reach the speed required to counter the pull of Earth's gravity, so they re-enter the atmosphere like a ballistic missile. Chief Executive Officer of rival rockets company Space Exploration Technologies, or SpaceX, used his Twitter feed to congratulate Bezos and the Blue Origin team on the landing, a technology that SpaceX is also pursuing. Nevertheless, it is the conditions in those last few seconds before touchdown when both orbital and suborbital rockets are positioning themselves for landing that so far has eluded SpaceX and which the Blue Origin team nailed. Blue Origin is among a handful of companies developing vehicles to carry cargo and paying passengers into space.